The Data Cloud Diaries, Identity Resolution, Match Rules, and Reconciliation Rules. Welcome as we dive deeper into Data Cloud. Today we're diving into one of the key elements of Data Cloud, which is identifying the individuals, people, with their emails, their phone numbers, their identifications, and looking for the duplicates, finding where Steve Simpson has been in that system as a customer multiple times, potentially with different email addresses, different phone numbers, but it's really the same Steve Simpson. And so we wanna be able to bring those records into the unified individual. And to do that, we need to do the identity resolution using matching rules and reconciliation rules. So we're gonna go in and take an example of this with Data Cloud. So here we are in Data Cloud and we've shown how we're matching. So here is a data stream that we brought in, Amazon Gen Pilot. This is the pilot. We've shown in previous, how we've done in previous videos, how we've set up the matching over to the data lake objects. So we've got, and this is showing us the Gen Pilot Amazon S3. In the last video, we showed how we matched to the content point email, contact point phone, and even the party identifier. So we've gotten these matching set up. But now what we want to do is to find duplicates. We want to find instances of the same person with slightly different data and link them to the same unified individual. So we go to Data Explorer. We go to see the data space. We go to the data model. And we're going to look at the individual. So here is our data in the individual. And if we look at it by the data source of my generated data, You can see we have the names, Black Panther, Han Solo. These are all the different test data that I've loaded, but there are some duplicates. What we're gonna be doing is going to identity resolution. So what we're creating, the first step is to create the rule set. So here is my primary rule set for identity resolution. And what we're gonna be doing is we have run this and this rule set has found 160 unified profiles out of 200. So we had 200 total individuals, and of those, 160 were unique. So 40 of them were duplicates. So you'll see that we had the matching. Well, we're gonna take a look, or 80 of them were duplicates. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look. This process runs only a few times a day and we're gonna take a look at the details of this. So first, we're gonna have, this shows us the 20% consolidation rate, 200 down to 80 matched, but your first step of this is you create the matching rules. And what we're gonna look is, I had chosen fuzzy name and normalized email. And what we're actually gonna do is, we'll start by creating a new identity resolution but not actually run it. Um, so what we're going to do is pick the data space. We'll pick the primary data object. I think we've already created. So we'll do individual and we'll give it a prefix. This is test. And hit next. So we're creating a new rule set. Give it a name, test. This is not one we're actually gonna run. I'm just gonna show you the one I've run. And this is showing us the objects. Individual, contact point email, phone, address, party identification. So it's identified the matching of the data model objects that I've already got configured. And we're gonna take a look. So here, we're gonna configure the matching rules and you get to choose from the set of matching rules. There are a number of default matching rules, fuzzy name and normalized email, fuzzy name and normalized phone, fuzzy name and normalized or a custom rule. We're gonna take a look at creating a custom rule and we're not actually gonna create it, but we're gonna show you the options. So from a custom rule, you pick your object, content point address or content point email email address, and you can decide whether it's exact or normalized. So you can create a series of matching rules, which will define 
What's the match of an exact individual? And then you're going to choose reconciliation rules. So if it does find a match, the question is going to be, which record wins? If you have two star, um, let's say two Han Solo records, which one's data should it use? And in the, so that's the difference. So if we go back to my existing primary resolution, um, identity resolution, we're going to edit the rule set. And I had chosen a fuzzy, a fuzzy name with normalized email. And that was the only rule. Then I want to take you down to the reconciliation. And on the individual, you can choose what's the reconciliation. So if it finds two records, which and they may have different data, which records do you use? All of these fields have the default value of last updated. However, with individual, I have changed it to source priority. What that means is if I have two different sources of data, the pilots plus the contacts, and one of them, and it was to choose which would become what's called the unified individual. It will pull here based on the source priority. So what you've got to do is even at the field level, you can define whether what is the priority of choosing which value is going to use. All of here under the uh, party identifier, it's most frequent. Under the individual, it's the source priority. And you can see when I choose this, I get to choose whether it is the lead, the contact, or the gen pilot. For this particular field, what will win in this case will be the gen pilot. So in this case, the gen pilot at this field will win if there's a conflict of what to choose when creating the unified individual. So an identity resolution is composed of match rules, and reconciliation rules. And what I did is I set up a straightforward matching name and normalized email. I set up the series of resolution rules, reconciliation rules at the field level. And then what I did is I hit save and I published this and I ran the rule set. And you're limited to only being able to run the rule set a couple of times a day because it runs in batch mode. And when this one ran, I've got 160 consolidated rate and source profiles and anonymous profiles. So now that I've created an identity resolution with the RS01 resolution rule set 01, it has created a unified individual, a single view of individuals across potential duplicates. Now I go to Data Explorer and I go to the Steve Tech Arc data space and I go to data model objects. You'll notice down here that I can now see them with the unified individual with my rule set. So here's the unified individual. And now what I can start to see is it's unified my test data from the, the pilots and it's unified from the contacts and they're blended together, but they have been unified into a single set of non duplicates. So this is now powerful because I now have this concept of a unified individual across my data streams and it can be running with the fuzzy matching on the name, the exact match on the email, and it can be running as the data is streaming in and continuing to refine and merge my individuals. So this is the power of identity resolutions with matching rules and the reconciliation rules to determine what value will win. And then it gives you your resolution summary over here to let you know what's your rate of reconciliation. Here, we have a 20% consolidation rate and no anonymous. And this allows me to create that single view. This is one of the key powers of Data Cloud. So what we've now done is having multiple data sources coming in over time. We're bringing them in, mapping them to the individual object. And now we're looking for those rules, fuzzy name, email, contact point, and we're identifying that unified individual so we can see Steve Simpson as he transcends multiple times, he's potentially shopped at a store, 
use different email addresses over time or different phone numbers or different addresses. And now we know it's the same Steve Simpson based on the unified individual. And we can now target them as a single unified individual. So this is one of the key cornerstones of Data Cloud. And I hope this was helpful. So thank you very much as we found the ideal identity. Join us again as we continue our journey. Same bat time, same bat channel. Subscribe to YouTube, Steve TechArc, and come to www.stevetechark.com and have a great day.